Yeah, well, what is up, my magic malcontents? Risen Dragon here with yet another fun deck tech for you. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been about 10 days since I've dropped a video. Life's been crazy lately. Again, wife and two kids. Life gets crazy. So let's get to this deck, okay? Mono Red is still, always will be one of those decks that it's not going away anytime soon. And every single deck, every single new rotation has... Uh, has a has some tools to do with mono red so let's get into this but this is a mono red build that is not your typical mono red build it's got some quirks to it that i'm 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 really loving so let's get to it and the festivities we start with this deals a damage to each opponent each creature and planeswalker they control good stuff kumano faces kakazan Deals one damage to each opponent in the first chapter. Then when we cast another creature spell, it comes into play with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. Then it becomes Etching of Kumano, which means if a creature dealt damage this turn by a source you controlled would die, goes into exile. Monastery Swift Spear, a 1-2 Hasty Prowess. We have Phoenix Chick, that is a 1-1 one, one Hasty Flyer. Can't block, but whenever we attack with three or more creatures... We can return it from our graveyard to the battlefield tapped with a plus one plus one counter on it. We have four play with fire, four reinforced ronins, four saw blade scamps. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put an oil counter on it, and we can tap it and remove it. Remove an oil counter, and it deals one damage. We have artifact hate and three damage with a braid. We have Felden Ronum Excavator excavator whenever it's dealt damage we exile that many cards from the top of our library we choose one of them and until the end of the next turn we can play that card we're also doing three fires of victory we can basically take out planeswalkers and creatures with this particular one now here's where it gets a little bit quirky this is furnace punisher now this one i'm going to share that i'm going to swap this out for our best of one because what i'm finding is Mono Red is really big in Best of One, and they run basic lands because it's, well, Mono Red. Okay, now also, too, in Best of Three matchups, we see, like, Esper or Gol... I've seen a lot of Golgari lately, also Grixis, which doesn't run as many basic lands. So this is one we're going to swap out for uh, one of our sideboard cards, which I'll show you in a moment. So we're going to swap this out. But at the beginning of each player's upkeep, it deals two damage to that player unless they control two or more basic lands. So that's kind of a fun card to have because especially with in, in a best of three, that card where, where you don't see as many mono color builds. Okay, I can't say you don't see as many, but you don't see them as frequently as you do in the best of one you know mono white and mono red mono black are all big right now so that's a good one to have we're running two brotherhoods and again deals three damage to each creature and each planeswalker or destroy all targets or all artifacts with mana value three or less so it could come in handy there we are running 16 mountains two sokanzan crucible defenses two autonomous furnaces just to get some card draw our sideboard two more and the festivities one more uh fires of victory another brotherhoods and we're also running three burn down the houses just in case uh we come across things that have a higher than five thing <laughs> i guess uh we're running three uh raise the effigies just for for uh for destroying target artifacts and attacking creatures and those sorts of things. We're running another abrade. Here's where we're going to swap out our Furnace Punisher. We're going to swap it out for the Curse of Shaken Faith, which means whenever Enchanted Player casts a spell other than the first spell they cast each turn or copies a spell, Curse of Shaken Faith deals two damage to them. So, yes, good stuff. We're also running two Curse of Hospitalities. Come on, scroll down. Uh, basically, when uh, creatures attacking Enchanted Player have Trample, Whenever a creature deals combat damage to enchanted player, that player exiles the top card of their library until end of turn. That creature's controller may play that card until they... And, and they may spend mana as though they're many, of any color to cast that. So, Mono Red, not going anywhere anytime soon. This one's a quirkier version of, of what I've been seeing on the ladder lately, but it's, it's still, I think, got some potency to it. And we're only running 20 lands. It's low to the ground. Really, really something I like. So for those of you that are new to my channel, we do a best of one and then we do a best of three just so you can see how the deck functions in both those environments. So without further ado, let's get to the quirky mono red games, kids. We are against Unas for our best of one matchup. This is a good hand. Faces Kakazan again and into Phoenix Chick and into two Phoenix Chicks. We can do that. That's kind of fun. 
I'll do that. I like that idea. Is this a mirror match? No, we got Rakdos. Ooh, how fun are you? Boom! Alright, get wrecked. Here we go. Okay, now. Hmm. <clears throat> do this. Boom. Yeah, they'll they'll destroy the Phoenix chick, that's okay. Or they might destroy both. Yeah, they'll probably take down both. Okay, Infernal Grasp, sure, deal two damage, that's fine. Boom. That comes back, yeah. Interesting, okay. Exile the Saga. Put down the Furnace. Cast another Kakazan. down a Ronin. They're holding priority. They're gonna take one of them down. Yep, that one right there. That's okay. Boom. Because they still end up taking two they still end up taking two damage. Blood tithe harvester. You're getting smacked. You're getting smacked. You're getting smacked. Yeah, you're getting smacked. So I've got a play with fire. I've also got a fire's of victory. That will do just enough damage for me to exile that, and boom. Can you tell I'm in a good mood today, kids? Okay, you found your land. Excellent. Graveyard Trespasser. Okay, that's totally okay. You gain some life. Yeah, that's fine. So here's what we do. We are going to zap the... Ab we're going to abrade this. Yeah, we'll discard the Fires of Victory because we just do not care, and we're going to win. All right, let's go the best of three. That's a fast one. Woo! This deck is fast. Okay, love it. Ranking up into silver. One. Let's go to the best of three. We are against Impact Turn for our best of three matchup. We are on the play, and we... Well, not the best. It's, it's land heavy, but this sets us up real nice. So, ready? Boom. We do this. Reinforced Ronin, swing in. Big damage! Yes, there it is. Excellent. Boom. Okay. Good stuff. Oh, okay. Reinforced Ronin. Phoenix chick. Phoenix chick. Boom. Back goes the Ronin. Oh. Okay. Health ball, maybe. Uh, hmm. And I think that goes bye bye. Boom. Okay. What do they have here? Are the Gallagreeters. Okay. It's getting abraded again. I'm holding off on the Kakazan simply because I don't. I, I want that in hand when we have another creature that isn't a Ronin that's going to go bye-bye. So I want to hold on to that for now. Now the problem is, is are we going to run out of gas? That is the one thing I am concerned about. So, yeah, that's... Oh, interesting. We're Naya. Fight rigging. Oh, how fun are you? Like, not very fun at all, actually. That's actually really annoying. But we might be able to race them. So it's really going to kind of depend on... It's not really what I was looking for, but... That's okay, because we'll just put down our Ronin again. And we'll just swing. Boom. Okay. Excellent. Boom. All right. So... I don't think I'm put down Gallagher Readers. Sizzling soloist. Interesting. Okay, so you're gonna get abraded. You don't get that. Eh. Alright, well, we don't have the Ronin. Er, I'm sorry, we're gonna I, I think what we'll, I think the correct play is this. We we hold on to the Ronin. Of course, we're, we're out of abrades. We're out of spot removal for now, which could be a problem because they've now got 
we're not quite in a titan of industry territory, but we are in sizzling. So whenever another creature enters the battle, can't block this turn. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So now we can't really use the soul. We can't really use the Ronin effectively, so we're just going to do that. Play with fire. That's fine. You're dead. No, I don't need that. Yeah, let's just do this. Classy victory. Classy, classy, classy victory here. Finish him off with the one attack with the Phoenix Chick and boom. Okay. There we go. All right. So we will do this. Uh, now, I said I was going to swap in the Curse of Shaken Faith. I almost said Curse of Shaken Bake. <laughs> I know I almost said that. I said that uh, we were going to do that in the first match, but uh, we didn't end up doing it. Um, but I do think the Punisher does fit here because they are running quite a bit of non-basics. So I think that's fine for now. Let's see how we do. We're going to go at least two and two with this deck today. So that's okay. I say at least two and two. I hope to go three and oh. Three and one would be okay. Oh, this is a fun one. I like this one. Yeah. Let's do this. Boom. Let's do Komano. Boom. Deals one damage to each. And then Ronam comes in as a 3-3. Three, three. And we're going to hold up the... Oh! How fun are you? How fun are you, Furnace Punisher? Boom. Add a line. Add a line. Yeah, that's fine. Because... Mm, Alright, fun. Going. Uh, hmm. What can we do here? You know, let's just swing. Let's just swing. Yeah, that was a mistake. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do Kumano, because then we can use Boom. Wedding announcements? No. That's okay. Let's do that. Boom. That comes in like that, and boom, swing. Oh, and that's a menace, too, so they're going to have to deal with that. Okay. That's fine. Phoenix Chick is great. We just flood the battlefield. Okay, so they... We don't... So that's not going to do damage, but it's still a 4-4 with the uh, Social Climber. So it's like an alliance deck. Interesting. Okay. Runic Shot. Ah, it's all good. Have fun. Okay, Monastery Swift Spear. Do -do -do -do. Alright, um, we do Monastery Swift Spear, and let's just swing and see what they do here. They gotta block something. Okay. Frenas Punisher, boom. All right, so this uh, so that does, didn't really come in handy there, but that's okay. We'll see what happens though. Gala greeters. Okay, well they gained some life. That's okay. Um, hmm, maybe this is where the the ball comes in handy. Okay, fires of victory. Well, we can't really. Okay, all right, let's go the best of three. I mean, let's go to the post-mortem. Oh my gosh. Okay, so is this quirky enough to be quote-unquote quirky mono-red? I don't know. I don't think so. I think this is just another little variation. I think Furnace Punisher makes it a bit quirky, but as you saw, I mean, it, it you know, okay, it's a 3-3 three, three menace. I mean, it's actually not that bad, and it deals damage if your opponent doesn't have a lot of basics, so... I'm totally okay with keeping that, but again, play around with this deck. It's it's really, really fun. So, Mono Red, I guess if you want to 
<clears throat> work your way up the ladder. That's the way to go. This deck, as you saw, did start to run out of gas a little bit, but I will share that keeping a three or four land hand, not the worst thing with this deck. Really not. So I hope you like what you saw. If you do like what you saw, leave a like, leave a subscribe, and as always, my magic malcontents, may all your draws be godlike, may all your spells hit the board. Risen Dragon is out. I will see you later.